Good morning, all teachers and attendees. My name is Gaurav Walia, and I'm a senior key account manager with Knowledge Hub. Established in 2001, we at Knowledge Hub have specialized in catering the undying need to provide high quality educational resources to, the co to cope the ever-growing demands for advanced learning and development. We focus on developing e-learning solution using advanced technology and change the way people learn, train and grow. Over the last two decades, we've helped countless schools and universities streamline submissions, helped people learn from a distance and most importantly, leveled the educational playing field. Currently, we provide numerous interactive learning solutions and the one we will be addressing today in this webinar is TechnoKids, a complete ICT curriculum for kindergarten to 12, which delivers a next generation project based learning platform aligning to all international curriculums across GCC. Talking a little bit about TechnoKids, it was founded in 1993 in Canada. With a history of 28 years, it is available in 90 countries and implemented successfully across 1000 plus schools and it's counting every day. Uh, the webinar today will be delivered by Mr. Suresh, who is training and implementation manager and a proficient English and Hindi speaker. Our second speaker today is Mrs. Hiba Samadhi, who is a professional ICT teacher and proficient in Arabic and English language. One common fact among them is that both of them hold vast teaching experience in ICT segment. I would like to share the agenda of this webinar with you. We will be elaborating more on TechnoKids as to what it is and what it delivers. How will TechnoKids hybrid platform help conduct ICT classes? And what are the new projects that we've implemented? I'm sure you will be excited to know about the projects that we've implemented focusing on AI, 3D printing, animation, coding, and many more. And towards the end, we will have a question answer round. Now the session would uh, the session would be delivered by Mr. Suresh first and Mrs. Hiba then, and it would be for 45 minutes. Uh, before I pass on the session to our speakers, please be informed that this is a recorded webinar and we will be sharing it with all of you later. Therefore, please feel free to ask any questions in the chat box and share some additional information about you so that we know you better. Right. I will be passing on the session to Mr. Suresh to elaborate more on technologies. Uh, thank you for the warm introduction, uh, Gaurav. Uh, good morning, the teachers and all other participants. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, as Gaurav said, I would like to say what is uh, technologies? <clears throat> technologies is a collection of a uh, technology project to set up a complete ICT and STEAM curriculum for kindergarten to 12th grade. So these technology projects are instruction materials that apply an interdisciplinary project based learning approach. So this project will teach the students all the 21st century skills like problem solving, creating thinking, collaborative skills, all these skills students will be learning using the TechnoKids projects. So I would like to highlight the important feature of TechnoKids project that is the project based learning. So as a teachers, we all know some of the tasks or some of the activities we are giving to the students. So if you want to teach some skills to the students, you need to uh, teach as a theory. So if you teach as a theory, it will not stay in their mind. So but if you teach the particular skill as a task, completing a task that will stay in their mind forever. So the project based learning approach is easily an easy method to learn new skills. So TechnoKids follow this approach to teach all different Microsoft skills. And this project will adopt to all curriculums. That is what the important question for the teachers. If I take TechnoKids project in my school, will it apply to my curriculum what I'm following in my school? Yes because the all the projects in the technologies uh, curriculum the, whatever you are using they all are teaching the skills like leadership collaboration critical thinking digital citizenship creativity and decision making so these are the main skills that will be that is covered by most of the international curriculums like common core ist 
in California and IB curriculum. So it is 100% clear that the Techno Kids uh, projects will adopt your curriculum, whatever you are following in your school. <clears throat> These projects are grouped into different category as per the grade level. So it will be a junior, primary, intermediate and the senior level. So what are what are the projects we'll be having? So as I told you it's a collection of projects. This collection of projects teaching what type of skills? That's the question. Yes, this collection of projects will cover Microsoft skills, some graphic skills and some animation skills like uh, and programming and robotics and the latest trending technology like artificial intelligence and cryptocurrency. All these new technology we are covering in TechnoKids projects. Then, so if the school is getting techno kids, what are the important elements they will get for the techno kids? So the school will get the teacher guide and the student book and the online platform called techno classroom. So what the teacher guide will have. So if the school is taking the project, of course the topic is very topic may be very new to the teachers. The teachers no need to worry because the techno kids supports the teachers 100 percentage. They no need to worry about what I'm going to teach, how I'm going to teach, how can I plan the lessons, will the topic will be tough for me. All this will be covered in the teacher guide. As you can see here, it will have the complete teacher preparation, the strategy and the lesson plan and the learning objectives and the resources, whatever they need for the particular topic. Then the student book students will be given uh, using a student book. The book will cover the different activities. They will be having an assignment. Each assignment students will do a task and at the end of the each assignment, they will be having a review question to test their knowledge. Not only that, if the students are completing the task very quickly, they can do some actions and activity and attend some quiz as well as. So the complete engagement will be there for the students using the the student book. Then the value added platform here is that online platform that's called Techno Classroom. So once the school is getting these Techno kids, they will be provided with this online platform. There the students and the teachers will get the login credential. They can jump into this platform and they can use the resources. The resources will come up with the getting started, the PowerPoint, student resources, the student work workbook and summary of skills, the teacher guide, all things will be available in this online platform. Not only that, they will be having some video tutorials and how to do because more than the pictures, the video tutorial will help the students how to do the activity. So Techno Kids provide that video tutorials also in this online platform. And this platform can act as a mini LMS. Yes, the teacher can create their own courses along with the Techno Kids courses and they can upload the different own materials to this platform and they can conduct quiz and even the teachers can conduct a built in virtual conference with their students while they are teaching the project. They can use the same platform to teach this, their students and they can conduct quiz assignment and they can track the students what they are doing and how much they have completed. All these features are available in the Techno Classroom. So this is the uh, screenshot of the Techno Classroom uh, web page. So when the school is getting this online platform, there will be uh, four different type of accounts will be available. Uh, one is the admin, another one is the head of the school, another one is the teacher account, then next is the student account. So I would like to show how this platform will look like here. So this is the dashboard you can see. So as I said, the teacher can create their own course if they want and they can add their material according to that and they can see their report over here. And if you are going into the course, you can see the course here. And there are all the projects, whatever you have, the projects will be displayed here and you can start the project and you can see how many students are enrolled. If the students are already enrolled, it will show already enrolled and you can start the project here then you can see what are the resources are available for the projects 
and I am in the teacher account, so it will show the features of the teachers. Of course, the students will have limited features. And here, getting started, the PowerPoint for each session, and the student resources like assignment session one to session seven, then the workbook, which you are seeing here, the workbook is here. And next, the summary skills, the teacher guide, the teacher resources, and the video tutorial also available here. And the early plan, so how to plan your lessons, quiz, all these features are available. So the teachers can, for example, if they wanted to create an activity, they can go here. These are all are the activities teacher can create like an assignment using a virtual conference they can create and they can add some quiz questions. They, they can create some, uh, they can add some hyperlinks. Multiple options are available whenever you are using this platform. So the teacher can create their own activity and conduct their classes successfully with their students. And at the end, the teacher can verify how much students have completed and the student can see whatever the teacher is allowing them to see. The teacher can edit whether can whether my student can see the particular assignment or not. The teacher can control it. So that's how the techno classroom will help the teacher to engage the classroom while they are teaching this techno kids project. Now I would like to ask my colleague uh, Hiba to explain about some of the few primary projects and the junior level projects. Hiba, can you give some idea about the important new projects what techno kids is having? having for the primary and the junior level. Thank you, Suresh. Good morning, everyone. I'm Hiva Smadi. Thank you, Suresh, for this introduction about TechnoKids. Uh, TechnoKids, as my colleague Suresh said, it's a computer curriculum. A computer curriculum is a collection of technology projects. Now, each project will include a teacher guide, a workbook, and a customizable resource Files designed to gradually build competency of technology skills. And TechnoKids computer curriculum are ready to go instructional materials for busy teachers. Now, uh, as you see, how are the TechnoKids, all the technology projects in TechnoKids organized? TechnoKids has 98 projects and they are divided into categories based on grade level. As you see, there's a primary, junior, intermediate, and senior level. Next, I will show you the TechnoKids technology project matrix for each grade. Now, these are the technology projects available in a primary level, which uh, is computer lessons designed for preschool or kindergarten, and also grade one, grade two students, and grade three. Now, as you see for primary level, there are 19 projects for this age group. These projects will be first step to develop students' fundamental knowledge. Those projects provide a foundation for learning. Tasks here will develop fundamentals, keyboarding, and fine motor skills. Activities will emphasize fundamentals. Students will create artwork. They will write stories. They will, map, they will make presentation and more. The new projects added recently, as you see, will introduce the students to programming and to robotics, like, for example, TechnoBlocks and TechnoWiz. Now, uh, we will send this matrix to you at the end of this webinar to see it. Now, and we'll be showing to you the junior projects, which are the which are um, technology projects available for junior level which is a computer lessons designed for grade three, grade four, grade five, and grade six students. As you see from the junior level matrix, there is 25, 28 projects for this age group. They will be preparing students to more advanced and develop fundamental knowledge. Now, junior level projects will be focusing on essential skills. Activity here will promote the practical application of technology. The new projects added recently, as you see, would be introducing students to develop skills in programming. It will be developing uh, skills in robotics. Students will become responsible digital citizens. They will be conducting research, animate graphic uh, stories. They will build game and more. For example, Techno Turtle. 
Techno Turtle and Techno Turtle, they will become a game designer using Python and they will apply electronics coding, for example, with Techno, uh, uh, techno Microbit. Now, I'm going to just show you one example of when you have this matrix with you, I want to show you how you can read this project. For example, in this page I am opening, for example, for grade four, as you see, there is Techno Turtle projects. Now, this is the name of the project. And, be, and below the name of the project will be a brief about this project. Now, they will become a game designer using Python. And what the software that they will be using, they will be using Ideal Python 3. Now, the skills they will be uh, focusing on is programming. And is there any hard hardware in this project? No, there is not. And the ISPN will be the code for the hardware copy of the book. Now, as you see in each in each uh, project in the matrix, it will be mentioned if it's a new project or an updated project. All the project is updating, but if there is a new project added to the matrix, it will be written beside it as a new. Now let's go um, and see more about some project. Now, as I, as, as I explained, now these categories divide based on a grade level. Um, and, and the grade level that I was explaining before, it's only a suggested guidelines. Now, teacher may use their knowledge of their students' skills um, to adjust individual classroom application and projects. Now, now today I'm gonna, uh, I will highlight three projects from um, each part from the primary level, and I'm gonna be highlighting also three projects from the junior level. Now, to show you how projects can be used to teach students uh, different skills, and each project will teach your students many, many skills. Now, for the primary level, we will be talking today to show you um, how you can use these projects. An example, how you can see, can use TechnoKids projects in your classroom, and what and how to know the skills that students will be mastering at the end of those projects. So today I'm going to highlight from the primary level, uh, TechnoStar, TechnoTail, and TechnoTreasure. For the junior level, TechnoTurtle, TechnoApp Inventor, and TechnoTripia. Now, the first project I will be talking about in the primary level is the TechnoStar. TechnoStar is a computer lesson for beginners. Now, it can be teach to grade one, it can be teach also to grade to KG or grade two. It depends on the teacher, but uh, as you said, it's only a guideline. It can be teach to grade one students. TechnoStart teaches the basic knowledge, skills, and attitudes when they are using computers. It has 16 assignments. It's designed to build basic computer skills in primary grades. So uh, as you see from the assignments, it is the perfect way for beginners to start the school year. There's a fun activities like computer detective, do's and don'ts card. There's a function of computer hardware. There's a mouse or touch term terminology. Uh, there's a missing keys on the keyboard, matching, matching tools. What is what is wrong and the computer rules. The project's activity will empower the young minds with fundamentals. They will teach common sense, yet also critical skills such as computer care, the appropriate contact with computers. Simple, we'll make simple painting to develop essential skills, including how to open and close a program. They will select a tool to perform a task. They will save and print. They will open a saved file, and they will type using a keyboard. The primary and elementary students will complete fun activities with mouse and touch action. They will name computer parts to earn computer license. So with TechnoStart, these are the skills and the integrations they will learn. Now let's go with you to the next one. Today, I'm going to talk to you about TechnoTay, which is one of the primary projects. In this project, students will blend coding with storytelling using Scratch Junior. Um, the, fun, the fun lessons will be introducing programming concepts to elementary students in grade two to five, or I can say from children age seven and up. 
Now, illustrated, uh, uh, illustrated instruction will explain how to build a script to animate a fairy tale with its 20, 21 assignments that are divided into succession. E, a student will make a modern interactive fairy tale. They will using uh, Scratch Junior. They will combine coding blocks to form a script that will animate a story action. Uh, each story page applies different techniques. Detailed instructions will help students to divide the task into steps, sequence coding block and debug code. They will be teaching programming concepts in a fun way for beginners. Now, the tale will be about a character that overcomes a problem by doing on a quest to live, uh, to live happily ever after. They must find a hidden item and locate someone that can help them. What will happen in the Once Upon a Time adventure? In addition, they will become aware of how con conditional logic can be used in, in to trigger an action how the TechnoTales provides a, fun, a foundation for mastering other programming languages in the future. Now, these are the skills that you, and the integration that they will learn. Integrate creative writing with coding, teach programming concepts in a way that is fun and understandable for children. Now, also the third project I will be talking today about is the Techno Treasure Hunt. In this project, you will be introducing students to programming concepts and basic robotics action. This technology project will teach your students graphic, spreadsheet, and programming robotics. With its 14 assignments that are divided into successions, a student here will be exploring the treasure island using TechnoSnail, which is a smart robot and, as you see, TechnoParts. Now, in this project, students will be learned in terms um, island, map, compass, row, column, spreadsheet, and etc. Students also will learn skills such as sequencing, planning, estimation, problem solving. Students also will use the Techno Snail and program it to move in different direction on the treasure island map, island mate using the Techno card. This project actually, it is the perfect opportunity to learn programming using snail and cards. This excellent resource is a great starting point to teach the 21st century skills, directional languages and basic programming to young students. They will be understanding what a treasure map is. They will import the treasure island mate. They will program and move the snail they will set the starting position for the snail, they will program it, and they will move it to a specific direction, and they will explore different location on the treasure island. For students in this uh, project, they will be using logical reasoning to predict the behavior of simple program. They will utilize a critical thinking to create solutions through programming the snail. They will understand the algorithmic thinking to develop, to develop steps in creating solutions to various tasks. They will demonstrate how computer hardware and software will work together as a system to accomplish a task. Now, I hope you get uh, an idea about the primary level projects. Now I'm going to move with you to the uh, next level. It will be called, we call it the, ju the, the, the junior uh, technology projects designed for a grade three to grade six students. Now, the first project I will be covering in the junior level is the Technotrivia. Technotrivia and this project, students will learn how to make a Google or Microsoft form quizzes. The elementary and middle school students will create a trivia game. They will formulate a questions to test friends' knowledge about topic by setting the answer key uh, and on a, an automated system calculates the point and sends quiz results. Now, this project can be integrated into any curriculum area or use a topic of personal expertise to help students' interest. And it is designed for grade four students and up. So with this project, with this, it's actually it's a, a, um, an interesting project. Students will be integrating Google 
um, and Microsoft forms into curriculum. Now, this project has 15 assignments that are divided into six sessions. Those sessions designed to blend this technology projects into any subject area as a discovery tool. They will review an activity uh, or to share personal interest to expertise. Now, students devise a plan to, and they will generate uh, thought provoking questions. They will make an answer key with feedback and then they will invite their peers to play the trivia game. Finally, they will analyze the score and they will reflect upon their learning. Now for teachers, there's a step-by-step -step instruction to make a trivia game. They will receive a teacher guide with lesson plan. They will be teaching strategies, ideas, and assessment tool. And students' workbook will, be, will have illustrated instruction and sample quizzes about a diverse variety of topics like countries, an author, a sports, a wacky science fact, and much more. So with this interesting project, you will be shaking your, your computer skills, your, your computer curriculum with one of a kind of projects. As students will be considering the viewpoint of their audience in developing quiz questions. By working together, they will be improved written and oral communication skills. They will be developing a critical thinking. They will be Im improve information recall and they will build self-esteem. Cultivate position relation relationship and they will learn more about um, constructive uh, criticism. Now the next project in the junior level I will be talking about is the Technoterte. In this project, it's a programming project. Students here will be start using Python in early ages. The technology project that teaching programming skills using Python and the Turtle library. In this project, students will become a game designer. It has 13 assignments that are divided into six sessions. By technology that integrated math, language art, visual art, and social studies. To conclude, maze to paint uh, a pixel, uh, pixel art, they will create uh, a mid-lab generator or design a spinograph or build a carnival game. The fun will begin when students edit code to gain an understanding of the structure of Python script. Once they become familiar with the basic concepts, the young programmers are I will be introducing to debugging and loops and variables and also con con conditional logic. Now it will ignite an interest in programming with meaningful activities designed for beginners. Now at the end of this project, you will find, you will see your students, they will be inventing a game using only logic. Now these are the skills and the integration they will learn in this project. Now, the last project I will be covering with you and I will be showing you in the junior level is the app, the Techno App Inventor. Now, in this project, with a lot of workshops, the students will be the students from, let's say, level three to grade five and above will be introducing and will be learning to create an Android application. So in this project, students will be teaching app development and coding. With its 22 assignments that are divided into succession, they will learn about, um, they will learn how to complete installation and steps to create a new project. To start, students will have an overview of what is the app inventor, what is the Android emulator, and they will learn how to develop apps for Android. The students will learn programming step by step with multiple workshops. Then the student will learn to build simple creating app, the screen for Hello World app. Students will learn uh, about changing and switching the screen background image using clickable image with button components. And also they will learn to use sound components available in media pilot. They will build an app that makes um, the phone talking using text to speech. They will build a kilometer converter app. They will build a simple ball bouncing game app. 
they will build a digital doodle uh, drawing app. Students then will upload their app to the app um, inventor gallery. And then finally, they will uploading it to Google Play Store. So at the end of this project, so your students will be learn more about to develop their own mobile application using the app inventor. So they will develop programming. They will develop app building skills and operating environment skills. And these are the skills and the integration that these students will be learning in this project. Now I'm going to pass the speaker to speak to my colleague Suresh to tell us more about the projects in the senior and in the intermediate level. Thank you, Thank you. Bob, for the, the wonderful introduction about the pro projects that has been used for the primary and the junior level. That was really helpful. So now I would like to give some more introduction or the overview of the, some of the new projects which TechnoKids launched uh, the last year uh, for the intermediate and the senior level. So if you can see that there is a grades are displaying here, but uh, you no need to stick on to the grades. Uh, it's a group of project you can use near to the levels. For example, for the intermediate level, you, you, these projects are there. I would like to talk about the highlighted project like Techno AI. Uh, we do have the other project as well as. Then if you see the other level, if you can see that next level is Techno AI pilot. And uh, next, uh, other grade, if you go, you have the other projects in that Techno Circus and uh, Techno Drone, then Techno Blender. We do have the project like this. And the new project coding project is Techno Ship. So we are having these projects. I would like to add one more point here. The Techno Kids always focusing on the progressing of the knowledge. So the students might have learned a little bit of robotics and the scratch programming in the lower grades. So after that, they will be learning AI. Then they will be using that scratch programming knowledge and the AI together. They will develop an AI robot. Same way, each, from each and every grade, the student will be start applying their skill step by step in a higher level. So the progression will be going on uh, block coding, then the text based coding, even the robotics also lower level, higher level. So now let me talk about some of the projects here. The one of the project is Technosar Cubes. That's a new project project. So by looking at the name, you might wonder are my students is going to learn about uh, circuits, DSLR electronics. Yes, you, you are going. Students are going to learn about circuits and embedded system because everywhere we are using embedded system. Embedded system is nothing but at your mobile phone. Your mobile phone, you can call it as an embedded system or uh, in your webcam is an embedded system. There are all other electronic devices. We can call it as an embedded system. So so we will give the knowledge of embedded system to your students. They can easily identify not only that each and every day we are using some electronics devices. So students should have some basic knowledge of those things. So this project will give a good knowledge of those devices here. Not only that student will start developing some circuit on the virtual lab and they will simulate the output on the screen and they will develop a good real time project project using a well-known uh, hardware called Arduino. So what this project will cover? Of course, the first session will covering the introduction to the complete embedded system. Then they will be uh, introduced to the Tinkercad, the open source uh, software. They will be introduced to each and every part of Tinkercad. Then they will start developing uh, the different component interfacing and creating some good real-time project like automated garage system, home security system, some other project as well as. So this is the project platform you can see, and it's a complete online cloud based platform. You no need to install any software. It can be used in the tab as well as computer. Uh, you can use this uh, software as it is cloud based and you can use the block coding here. How the project will work, you can see here. We are developing a project for the home security system. That means motion detector. Uh, we can drag and drop this uh, Arduino 
to go to here and the buzzer system here and an LED light and the motion detector sensor. We can drag and drop this component from the right side and we need to just connect it. Each and every step is explained in the book, whatever they are having. Then once they complete the circuit diagram, they need to make the code using their well-known black coding platform like Scratch, then they can start simulation. Then once they simulate it, they can get the output here in a virtual format. If at all the students are interested, hey, I got the output on the screen, but I would like to see the output on the real time as well as then we, you can encourage the students to get the components from outside or from us to get these components and make their own models. Of course, students can build their own own project that can be used for your science exhibition, some other project because they are going to learn a lot of circuits here. At the, after completing this project, what will be the outcomes? Yes, your students can identify any new electronics components here. This is what a relay, this is what motor, or this is what my controller they can identify and they will have the knowledge of what you mean by embedded system and they will have the idea of creating a small circuit by their own for their own exhibition or any competition. So they don't need to depend on anyone else after learning this project. So that is Techno Circuits. The next project is uh, Techno AI, Techno Artificial Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence, yes, that's a trending topic everywhere nowadays. Why Techno Kids has come up with this project? Because each and every year, the requirement of AI skilled student is keep on increasing. You know, everywhere the companies and the government sectors are started using AI. Who will be developing the platform? Who will be developing the applications? They need a lot of uh, students, those who can develop AI applications. So that's how, if, as, as a teachers, if we teach AI in the school itself, in future, in their uh, higher studies, they can learn this skill very easily. So by keeping the career focus and the applications of AI and this, as the society is using a lot of applications, the importance of artificial intelligence is clear over here. What they will learn this project? Of course, the topic is new. So the teachers need to explain what do you mean by artificial intelligence? It's not a big title. So we are going to give an idea how we can train a machine to act like a human being to recognize a face, to identify a color or to remember some name. So that's what the artificial intelligence introduction that will be explained here. And we are going to explain some the technical concept which is used inside AI that's like machine learning and the deep learning concept. After that, students will start developing a project using an online platform called Machine Learning for Kids and the Scratch programming language. So here I will show a screenshot Start as a quick flow here. You can see if you are going to start the facial recognition project, they will be logging into the online platform. They will sign up. The username and password will be provided by us, and even the teacher can create for them. Then once they start it, they have to name their project as facial recognition. Then as the project is related to images, they have to select the images. They have to create it, and we need to upload the images to train the machine. So we need to upload our images that means for example if i am going to do the project i will be upload my images with the different expressions so and i will be upload some others photos as well as so we are uploading the data and we will uh, we will train the machine so that will happen so for example my photos i'm going to test my photos using the webcam with a different expression i will upload it and will add others photos as well as once the data is ready now the machine will learn from these photos so that we will train and test learn and test we will do once we complete the testing learning then will be a, there will be a test model is available using that model you can develop an application you can test the model is working properly first then after that you can implement an application using a very well known scratch scratch language programming then here these all students might know about it how to use the scratch then they can create the scratch programming here and they will be using some mobile background. They have to apply all the scratch skills like editing the background, editing the sprite and using the some commands like this. They will know about it. They will use all the programming language. Finally, develop a program. That program will detect their face. Yes, your face is granted or denied. 
That's how the students will develop the facial recognition application using a complete online platform. That's very interesting. And next project, they will be developed in a image classification. Yeah, that will classify the image. A particular image is a dog or a cat, or you can easily recognize whatever you are seeing in the outside, like it's a car or a human being like that. Students can develop a good project using that as well as. And not only that, they will be developing some object tagging as well as some medical applications also. So at the outcome, and after completing the project, students can probably say that, hey, I know what is the AI and where and all I can use it. And not only that, by I can by using these ideas, using these skills, I can be able to create a simple artificial intelligent project myself. That's what the success of the students after completing this project. Yes. Uh, now I would like to move on to the other project which will include some hardware also because whatever you do it on the system, whatever programming you do on the system, uh, unless until you are getting the output in the real time, this is not that excited. But this project will give some excitement. Yes, I know AI, I know scratch programming, but I can develop some AI project robot as well. So this project will be using an AI module which it has all AI capabilities like machine learning capabilities, face recognition, object recognition, color, all these capabilities this model is having. And a well known commercial microcontroller board is their micro bit available. Most of the teachers you might aware of it, or else our Techno Kids has another project called Techno Micro Bit as well as that will give complete idea about Techno Micro Bit also. And next, a driving base is a kind of robotics idea. Using these three things, we are going to make the project. So the main objective of this project is to know the machine learning and the students will know about the sensors and the motors and they will be uh, learn. They will be uh, understanding that how to train the machine to recognize the faces and the colors and the objects and implement simply a uh, simple prototype self driving car. Because the project title you might wonder that why it is techno AI pilot. Yes, the most of the activities we are focusing to how a student can develop a prototype self driving car over here. So the student can uh, make the car that can direct the lane and the human being on the road. You can see a video here now. Yeah, you can, this video will show that how this simple uh, prototype self driving car is directing a lane and following the lane. It's not directed by the sensor, but directing the lane of the speed. The line is right and you can see from the screen and side. Or left right, but and all of the data. Same in a real time, we will detect the data and follow the road. And not only that, as it is artificial intelligence, if a human being crosses the road, what it's supposed to do? It's supposed to stop, or is it has to make some alarm? That same prototype uh, thing also we can implement here. The robot is looking at a man and it's stopping and making an alarm here. So that's how they can do develop some good activities here. Not only that, uh, students will de develop some other face tracking, color tracking, tagging, all other external activities also they can implement using this project. And the outcome will be, yes, student will say that I can able to create an artificial intelligent robot or a self-driving car after completing this project. That's the outcome of the students. They will know how the real self-driving car is working as well as. The next thing is I would like to move on to the project which can be used for higher grade. That means secondary level. Uh, I, we would like to recommend this programming language project for grade nine onwards. Techno shift. The shift is another programming language because already the students might be knowing about some of the other programming language like even Techno Kids has the other programming language project like JavaScript, C and C++. But this is one of the new programming language. Uh, Students should know that is what should. Here, what, what is this language? The Apple applications, the iOS applications can be developed with the help of this programming language. So you know how the market of Apple. So the, what is the demand in the Apple, Apple market here? So if the students know about this programming language in their future, they can easily learn the development, application development of iOS or Mac applications here. So this this project will teach a complete programming structure of shift language. 
and the data variables, input features, the looping, all other concepts, including object oriented programming concept also, they will learn here in this project. And they will be using a complete online compiler, that REPL compiler. They will type the code here and they will get the output. There are a lot of interesting activities out there uh, to learn the concept of shift language. It's a high level language students can learn easily and they can uh, even they are doing a simple AI pathfinder algorithm also in this project. So this is the programming side and you can you can see the output over here on the right side itself whenever they are doing the coding here. The outcome is yes, students can say that yeah, I know a new programming language that will be useful for developing applications for Apple devices and they can work on it. They can create new project using that language. That is what Techno Shift. Next project is Techno Blender. So as ICT or as team, we would like to cover the multiple areas, not only the Microsoft skills or the robot skills. Some students would like to have learned something about graphics. So why don't we teach something related to the animation? Yeah, this project will help to teach uh, uh, animation skills to the students. The software is completely free and open source. That is called Blender software. And here the students will learn about two dimensional and three dimensional images and they will start developing this new animations, a small animation clips as well as they will start applying some visual effects. So here they will be learning about the basics of the Blender software and they will model the 2D and 3D images and creating their own solar system and the camel animations and some other um, small interesting uh, animated clips also they will develop here. So this is one of the projects they are doing here. Uh, this is for example solar system, how the planets are moving around the sun. The students can develop an animation. Each and every planet they will create and color it. They can control the speed, the adjustment, the effect they can do it with this Blender software. And they will also a uh, camel moving animated clip like this. So each and every frame student has to decide how the color of the camel and what angle it has to move and they will make an animated movie using this software. So at the end of the project, the outcomes will be student will understand what is two dimensional, what is three dimensional. Not only that, here we are not going to do any programming, but only using the graphic skills, they will be creating uh, animating animations uh, for their projects for any of their activities. Next project is called uh, Techno Drone. So we would like to introduce the drone technology to the school as well as because the students are watching the drone as a toys everywhere. So they are playing with the drone as a toy using a joystick or something, but no, drone is not stopping one not there. If the drones are used commercially in many places, even Amazon is using for drone for uh, delivery purpose and there are a lot of applications. Even the security system, they are using the drone for monitoring so many areas. So students should have the knowledge how the drones are working. Can I plan the, uh, the trip of a drone from starting from one place to the other place? So this project will give a complete idea of a drone, not only drone idea, they, it will teach the students to control the drone using their well-known programming language as well as. So what they will do here, the students will be introduced to the drone and the drone principle, how it is working. They will be start controlling the drone with the mobile app. Then after that, they will control the drone using scratch programming language and then they will be controlling the drone using the Python language. The next, they will be applying their artificial intelligence skill to this drone so it can track the face or track any object in this project here. So this is how they will uh, make the code using here. So take off and travel for five meters and take turn, then go for five centimeters, something like that they can put and they can completely plan the trip for the drone using scratch language. And next they can same thing they can develop using uh, Python as well as so students can apply their scratch knowledge here. They can they can apply their Python program programming also here. Not only that, the same drone, it has a camera capability, so it will follow your face as well as. So it, it may be just an activity, but the student will apply their programming skill there to track their face. Wherever they move, it will follow their face. So these all are the activities 
the students will develop by their own with their programming knowledge and the drone knowledge. So these are the some important projects we can see here. And uh, the outcomes students can say, I, do, I, I know drone as a type, but now I can implement some good applications using drone. I can control my drone. I can control the trip of the drone as well as, and they can develop some good AI uh, applications using the drone. So these are the some projects uh, we would like to highlight today. I uh, hope you had a good session. You got a good idea. Now we would like to answer if any question is there. Gaurav, uh, any question is there from? Well, Gaurav, you are muted. I can hear yes, Well, thank you. It was a good amount of information, and I think it was a decent sized overview of the entire Technokids platform. And I believe we got to know a lot about the kind of offerings we have on Technokids. And I think we are getting some good interaction here. Uh, we would like to address some of uh, good questions that we're uh, coming across. The first question that I would like to address is from Noha. Now, Noha is asking, uh, can Technokids give a platform where kids can log in and do work and save it and share it, like as in they are working online and may not have some software at home? So I think they're trying to refer to some kind of software that they would have to download. So Suresh. Yes, uh, that's a good question, Noha. Uh, uh, if you see our project matrix, there are 96 projects are there. And out of the 96 project, I think 75% uh, of the project, uh, you know, as the techno kids come up with the new projects, the 75% of the projects are highly focusing on cloud based applications. In fact, the some of the projects which I highlighted today, uh, for example, the scratch based project, you can use completely online source and even the techno circuits and uh, techno AI, these all are completely cloud based. So no need to install any software. And of course, some of the projects, some robotics project, you need to install the software. But when you're focusing on the online platform, you can choose that type of software. We can also support to you what type of software you can use when you are conducting the online session. That projects can be done completely online and the students can share. And one more good news. Uh, in the beginning, I was showing the techno uh, classroom platform. The Techno Classroom platform has its inbuilt uh, scratch coding also. The students no need to jump to other uh, tab or other website to do the scratch programming. They can do the scratch programming inside as well as. So you have the option for most 70 percent of the project. You can do uh, online activities without installing any software. Thank you. Well, uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, uh, we have an attendee asking, are these projects available in compliance with any particular educational board like CBSC, ICSC, or are they in compliance with all general or all the boards? So yes, Suresh, how would you like to answer yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I got your question that these projects are general, but this project, the topics the content whatever it's having inside it can be easily aligned to your curriculum what are you following uh, as you are focusing on specifying as on the cbsc and igsc in fact the blender and the python and the artificial intelligence which are the some of the recommended topics from cbsc uh, from my experience i'm telling so these projects can be easily mapped with the cbs and igsc so the cbsc standards we can get it the skills whatever you need we can Tell the project this project can uh, help you to teach the specific skills. So though the top books are general, but it is applicable for your curriculum things. The Perfect. The next question that I have is who will provide the hardware for the projects? Now I we you did mention that some of the projects are hardware enabled, so I think there are hardware kits involved. So who would provide these hardwares? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question that 100% uh, techno we as the knowledge hub we will provide uh, the hardware to you. Uh, it's a complete package. The cost will come as a package along with the project and the hardware you will get a package. So the hardware will come as a classroom kit. Uh, for example, for a classroom, how many kits you might need or else if the school is affordable to get the individual kits also, we are ready to supply. So we will support the complete hardware. There's no worries. Perfect, perfect. And how many projects would one grade require in one year? That is again another question we have coming. 
Yeah, that's a standard question whenever I uh, discuss with the teachers, they will always ask. Uh, so normally we would like to suggest a minimum two projects to three projects per year. I will not say that uh, all projects projects are of same level because of the students capability. The teachers may go very fast and they can complete it. So uh, based on the project selection, we would like to recommend minimum two projects to three projects per year. OK, All right now we have a uh, attendee trying uh, to look for an answer for a subscription model. What's the subscription model or the licensing model uh, of Technogrids looking like and what does it cost? Yes, uh, this project is for example if you are buying techno kits the licensing model will be based on the student based and is yearly subscription how many students and yearly subscription and depends on the project uh, depends on the, the cost also slightly varies with the project for example grade uh, five they are selecting techno app inventor and some other two projects so each project will be separate cost and it will be cost for per student and every year we need to uh, renew it so it's like the things and we this details uh, for more details you can uh, contact our uh, sales team we will show the contact details at the end of it okay so uh, another question that we have is about techno drones project do you provide a drone with a techno drone i mean what about the drone i mean do we actually give them a drone that flies yes i'm glad to have that uh, the student teacher is having a good interest on the drone yes of course we he will provide the drone. Yeah, complete educational based drone is available. That is a cello drone. And that is that doesn't need any license to uh, fly over it because that's an indoor drone. It's license free drone. Uh, the, there are drones are available for, for that. You need license to run outside because it's for educational purpose. The drone is completely available that we will provide. And where will they fly this drone? I mean, is it like uh... Does it come with a designated area that they fly like within the school or like I mean how how is it instruction based or like how do they fly it or where do they fly it exactly? Yeah, they can fly it in their uh, even in their classroom. They can fly. It. It's a very indoor indoor drone to uh, apply their knowledge to develop their knowledge. It's for not for the commercial purpose, so they can use in their car indoor or inside anywhere they can use it. It's a very small size of drone. Yeah. And for the drones ones, I think that there's a quite a lot of interest coming in for drone. How many lessons does a drone project uh, require? Yeah, I, even I mentioned on the slide as well as there are six sessions are available currently. And in fact, uh, uh, if you would like to go for some other additional activities based on the teacher's interest, we will uh, the techno kids will provide and the teacher resources if they want any advanced activities. There are six sessions are available currently with the techno drone. Uh, one is the introduction to the drone and uh, how to control the drone using the app. The next is the scratch based control, then Python control, then uh, the facial tracking with the drone. That is these all of the sessions are available. And uh, if the teachers are the students are really interesting, they are doing very fast. We, you we can ask the on the online platform for more activities. Uh, knowledge will knowledge of will support with, for that. And I think I think uh, what uh, someone is trying to ask is do they need a license to like would a school need to get a license to fly drones within their territory? I think that's what they are trying to ask uh, if they, if they uh, want to such kind of projects. Yeah, good question. Uh, this uh, actually if you see the drone, uh, the drone structure is, is not harmful. It is very simple, a small one. It's like a toy, so it doesn't need any license. It's completely approved for educational. This is the EDU version educational version drone so it doesn't need any license so it's a kind of uh, you know robotic car which you are using in your uh, laboratory same way you can use the drone as well as in a in your laboratory or, or a classroom great 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 and how much time does a student uh, would a student uh, uh, require to devote to techno kids project on daily basis like if they are if they are doing the project so and uh, can they opt for it to be done at home uh, can you repeat the question? Yes. Yeah, sure. How much time would a student require to devote to techno kids project? Like say, for example, their teacher is assigning a project to a student. How much time they might need to devote to complete a project is what I think uh, uh, Aisha. Yes, is. I Asha. got it. So uh, it's up to up to the activity uh, what they are doing. 
uh, if you are doing programming and you can give the task for in the beginning you might to give more concentration on the you may, you may need to visit the page more time to understand the platform once you learn the students can develop without uh, looking into the platform so you we have a lesson plan and based on that uh, teacher can create the lesson plan this day what you are going to teach and based on that uh, the students has to visit the pages and they have to do the activities. If you can plan it completely, it's customized. It's, we cannot specify this many times. It's up depends on the project as well as the teacher's plan and the, how the students are learning. There some students will learn quickly with one side. Some students need to learn multiple times. So based on that. Another question from Amira. Hi Amira, I want to ask about Swift programming. Is it suitable for half credit courses? I mean, only one semester is her question. Uh, shift programming, right? Swift, Swift uh, programming. Courses, I mean, one semester. Uh, the shift programming is, the, yeah, as you are asking about specifically on TechnoShift project, uh, this shift programming, if your students are good enough or means they are quick performers, you can complete in one semester or it will take uh, one and a half uh, semester. It will take for it. Or else you can cut short some up the activities you can finish within one semester. Perfect, perfect. And talking about the, the Blender, I mean, does the Blender lag when you open the live session as Fusion 360 does, uh, or, or does it require like more, a higher amount of RAM, like 6 GB, 8 GB of RAM is the question. Does, does it uh, actually- Blender doesn't, yeah, good, good question. So this is one of the question even I faced from the, Blender doesn't need any much RAM features. Uh, uh, 4GB RAM is sufficient for it. Blender will run. Uh, even we checked with uh, some of the computers as well as it is working with the different platforms. Uh, not very high features are not required for the Blender animation. It can work with the low configuration also. Right, perfect. And the next question I see is around Tinkercad. I mean, they are asking if they can create teacher's account to monitor students' work. Uh, yeah, there is an option teacher account monitor students work in Tinkercad and also the techno class will uh, room will provide and how much the students are completing. Uh, even the techno classroom have the assessment capacity that uh, how much the students are completing the project by submitting their result to here so that teacher can monitor and evaluate their performance using the with the help of techno classroom. Even in the Tinkercad also we can monitor. We can create a group and see. OK, perfect. Uh, the other question I see is, is this application integratable with Google Classroom? Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, you can uh, contact our team. Uh, we will help you out. It can be, it's possible that because we, this Techno Classroom have one of the feature that we are missing that, it comes up with the SSO, that it means single sign-on feature. So in that feature, we can easily integrate with that one. So this one will case to case help how we can integrate this with your Google platform. It's possible, it's possible. Right. Talking about another question, we see how much does this package cost for K-12? Uh, I am not the right person to answer this question, Gaurav. So you can call our, uh, so we will get back to you with from our sales team uh, because it depends on the project and all those things, they will make the quote. Uh, of course, we will get back to our sales team will get back to you. Sure. I can briefly answer that question. It's basically a customizable basket, so the pricing entirely depends on the kind of projects that you choose. In detail, we can always talk about your requirement when we get back to you. So perfect. Now let's let's look at uh, another question. Uh, I think I think I think we are done with the question. Please, uh, do you have any question, attendees, teachers? Any more questions you would like to ask? We would be happy to answer your questions. Do you have any more questions? We would love to see some more questions. Well, perfect. So uh, in that case, uh, please feel free to reach us at the Knowledge Hub Company, Dubai United Arab Emirates. Uh, our phone number is uh, plus 971-438-56650. And the mobile number is 5548368870. Our email address is info at knowledgehub.com and the website is www.knowledge-hub.com. 
We will be sending out to you the recorded uh, session along with the certificates. Please do not uh, forget to review that email and your feedback is very valuable, us, valuable for us. So send us your feedback as well. Thank you so much for your valuable time today and thank you so much speakers. Have a very good day and enjoy your Eid vacations. Thank you.